guys if you've been following us along for the past couple of years you probably have a pretty good idea what our opinion is of catamarans we like to sail everywhere and so far the cats that we've been on have been big heavy comfortable downwind floating apartments which yeah, have their place wrong with that it's just not our style exactly really. uh, today we've been invited to go sailing on a catamaran but it's a little bit different it's uh, a pretty high performance race inspired catamaran and uh, we're sailing it from Cowles down to Plymouth. The guys at Das Cat invited us over to help deliver a boat and so of course we jumped on board. Should be fun. You excited? Yeah, it's blowing like 30 knots so it's gonna be it's gonna be a hardcore sail. <laughs> how's uh, how's the temperature today? <laughs> Not warm. <laughs> It's, it's obviously going to be fairly, fairly fruity out there today, so mm -hmm. we just want to kind of keep it all, all fairly safe. Just a little bit. It's noisy in here. So it's not very kind to short people. No. Uh, Keep going. Okay, that's pretty good. With these. So we've got Jay Z and a J Lo. We're gonna put the J Lo up. Jay Z and the J Lo. <laughs> How's the ride so far? <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting to be like going down a way like this, yeah? It's very different, for sure. But we're, we're cruising. Yeah, we're still at 15 knots. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. <laughs> Very weird motion though. Like we're used to the mono hall moving back and forth. The catamaran kind of moves in uh, multiple <laughs> can, directions. <laughs> as you can tell by the camera shake. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like you don't really, you can't predict which way it's going to lean. But it's, it's a fast boat. right now. And we're 
surfing down the waves. This is literally the fastest I've ever been on a sailboat. Just entering, well, we're halfway between Portland and Weymouth at the moment. The forecast is uh, stronger the further west you go, so we've seen a few 30 knots now. The sea looks pretty big, tide's about to turn against us as well, so I think the sea would have mushed up quite nastily over the next few hours. So uh, we'll pop in here for the night and then get going first thing in the morning and hopefully get back to Millbrook on the tide at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Yeah. How does it feel to be like surfing down the waves? It feels like... weird to be pointing down so far, that's for sure. Especially because we're up high in the cockpit in the back and then you're yeah. pointing down a wave. It feels like you're, <laughs> you're about to fall over your toes. <laughs> yeah, but a boat like this, I mean, it's meant to go that fast. Yeah, well, it's, it's been that fast many times, so uh, it certainly handles it. down here and it's just not happening our bailout plan is basically just to turn around and beat back out up up around here yeah okay yes What's the sit rep, Captain Kika? Oh, uh, it is about six o'clock in the morning, and we're gonna head back out. We're pretty much ready to go. You look like you're ready to go skiing. Yeah, it is not warm out here today. Yeah, well, last night we pulled into Weymouth here to spend the night and ride out some kind of strong wind. And this morning we're heading back out and kind of going around the race. Right now the current is almost full against us, so we're gonna hug the coast as close as we can. It might get a little bit bumpy, but as soon as we squeeze out the other side, we should have smooth sailing, so we're gonna give it a try. with uh, coming down here at 11 knots with the tide and it's all about to stop <laughs> another few hundred meters there and uh, we're gonna go sideways I think that's pretty intense it, we, we went up to 6.2 knots of tide that was kind of coming on the, the bow there for a little while but man it's kind of crazy to see the waves and the current just meet it gets all choppy and crazy and gross and there's a sweet little spot right by the shore we could squeak by and now we're in pretty calm flat not so not so rough seas
far it's been a pretty fun passage actually. We're in very similar conditions to what we saw on our Atlantic crossing. It's uh, 25 gusting to 30 and we're jiving downwind. But the difference is, is that we're sailing at 12 knots, whereas on our crossing we were sailing about six, six and a half. We've got a second reef in the main and we're comfortably underpowered and still sailing at 12 knots. And we've been told that in uh, their racing they probably saw the spinnaker out and we'd be doing 20 knots. But the motion is quite a bit different than we're used to on a monohull. Uh, there's no keel to sort of buffer the movement of the boat, so it's more level and it's sort of more stable, but the motion's definitely more sort of jerky because you can feel how light the boat is. But she's certainly stiff, and she certainly sails well, and even at the helm you can feel it. You can feel the different pressure in the wind and you can feel the waves and you can feel the speed increases. Um, she's quite a nice boat to sail, actually. Snapping. It's very comfy. Like there's no squeaks, and I actually quite enjoyed the sound of the water on the halls from time to time. And I have a really cool view down there. But yeah, I, I'm enjoying this. It's blowing 30 knots, and I, I, it's you know it's comfortable to be on this boat. Like she handles it really really well. Yeah, earlier we actually took um, a wave kind of on the beam that broke and came all the way up over top of the entire cabin top and we all got yeah. soaking wet, but the boat just kept on rocking. Uh, she's so stiff. We've been on a couple of catamarans now, quite a few actually, and the one thing, like the comfort's great and the, the living space is great, but they just, they don't perform well sailing. And mind you, most of them aren't designed to, you know, they're kind of just designed to move under sail power. Um, but this boat, like you can feel, you know, the changes in the wind and you can feel the surfing down the waves. It's really nice to finally be on a cat that actually sails well. I agree. Yeah. I definitely agree. I want to take one of these out in really light wind. I want to take one out in three knots of wind with like a big giant coat yeah, or something and go. And, and see exactly like the complete contrast. That yeah. would be fun. Huts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna that's, leave that down. We're gonna go kind of around. It. We're pretty much there. We're entering the breakwater of Plymouth, and then we'll make it to our destination. Let's uh, maybe try for some sunshine. sunshine. Last time we'll cross the Grenada, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're good. Yeah, that was a fun ride. That was a cool little boat. Fast, fun, wet. I'm ready to go crank up our heater and like go take a hot shower. Uh, it was very interesting to sell something different than what we're used to. 
because really we've only truly sailed our own boat so it was nice to sail on a boat that's that feels sturdy as well <laughs> on any of the other catamarans that we've been on before i would be a little nervous on this passage and that includes like what the leopards the ultramar the Lagoon, Lagoon not attack, the Knot Attack, Fontaine the Fontaine Pajot. Yeah. yeah, out of all of them, I would have worried about it. I would be worried. Uh, and that bird, she feels like she's built to handle these things and she doesn't squeak. But yeah. Cold, <sighs> miserable, Cold, miserable. <laughs>